Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Now before we get started, just want to point out, I am under the weather again, I know, it's that cold thing that keeps going around. Um, every time I think I'm over it, it comes back, so if I suddenly go quiet for any reason, um, it's because I've muted my microphone for, for obvious reasons. Um, and if I don't talk much during this video, I apologise in advance, but again, it's just because I'm trying to save my voice and things like that. It's not even just for work things, it's just in general, my uh, my throat is screaming at me right now. Um, but yeah, you guys don't need to know about that, that's absolutely fine. Right, since last time, um, Newton Aycliffe seems to be having steel delivered for the Newton Aycliffe goods train, and not the Harrow steel train. So I think we might be at a stage now where the Harrow steel train can be discontinued. Um, or at least rerouted and maybe have the steel come from elsewhere, potentially from Luton. Um, we will see. What I wanted to do today was to build the railway here over to Downham Market and beyond. And I think we are still going to do that. Um, so I think this railway here at Hereford is going to go to New Mills and then Seaford. So I think this line is going to go to Downham Market and then Blackburn and there could potentially be an opportunity to link up to this sort of section here as well. <clears throat> um, we might actually have the railway come through here, have a station here and then have two bus lines, one to Downham and one to Wimborne, Minster and then continue up to Blackburn and this becomes the West Coast. That's not a bad idea actually, I kind of like that. Uh, we'll see if we can get that done. There will be another line from Camelford that will then join up somewhere. Maybe have this as a junction station as well um, of some kind. We'll see. But yeah, again, sorry that I'd, I'm not going to be talking much. Uh, I don't actually have my headset on. Let's put that on so I can listen to the music while I play. Because um, hopefully if I can hear the music, so can you. Uh, maybe I'll bump up the audio in post. Um, what am I doing? <clears throat> Try not to cough is the most important thing of what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to grab the cheap rail. And we're going to build a straight-ish bridge. Uh, that ain't going to work, is it? If I build a straight-ish bridge, we'll get this uh, on the level. That should get over that road as well. Now, do we have some shipping lanes free here? We do. I could probably tighten this up a little bit. There we go. We get one big shipping lane in the middle there now. <clears throat> and then here we should be able to just go straight over, I wanted to say. But it doesn't appear to be the case. So we'll have to do a little bit of demo work here. Just to get this through. At this point, yeah, the railway can just slope down naturally. So we're heading in this direction. We might skip past the uh, the iron ore mine here uh, and then run practically straight through this bit. Cross the road there, cross the road there. I think for now we might just use level crossings as well and not try and do anything too special. Also got to remember this is technically going to be a four track main line here as well. So I need to build it accordingly. Um, which means this section here will get redone slightly. It doesn't actually need too much doing to it. So this bit here for example can just come out maybe not there, maybe a little bit further up. Yeah, kind of like Uh, maybe I'll bring it in from this side. Like this. <clears throat> and then I should be able to get it to curve in. There we are. Slows down a little bit there, but I think that's fine. Might even be able to have a second crossover. No? Alright, might have to have the other crossover this side of things then. Um, but that should get that working. We might not even need a crossover, to be honest. It's a question of what, what would we actually need it for. And right now, don't know is the answer to that. 
Uh, and then over here... <clears throat> this one might be trickier. Purely because of the lay of the land here. I suppose what we could do is just have it come off like this, maybe? I mean, how's that going to look? Yeah, that looks really stupid. Not a, f not a huge fan of that. Uh, more new vehicles. <coughs> Excuse me. 12 new vehicles. Liking that. What about this? Will this work? Or is that going to look stupid? No, it's going to look stupid whatever I do here, I think. Um, sorry, guys. Bear with me just one second. Yep, there's one of those audio muting things I was telling you about. Um, yeah, I think the uh, the solution here would be to pull that back and then have the line branch off. I guess, oh, that looked good. Like that. Hopefully that doesn't get too close to the main... No, I don't think that does. Kind of goes in and then comes out again, but that's not necessarily a bad thing either. And then, of course, we can bridge over, and for now, I'm just going to leave it there like that. And then this line will now come up and join up with this line. I guess like this. Th th there's the thing. So it doesn't actually need to have sloped down this much. Also, that looks really stupid. Whatever I've done there is really dumb. Um, I'm going to rebuild this. For so many reasons. To the point where I might not even... Why does it look like that? Maybe it's the way I've built it at this end. I don't know. I'm just going to continue building this. And see if that fixes it. Huh. Really? So that causes a collision. Even if I build... No, this works. How, uh, how interesting. <clears throat> well, there's a chance that this won't be a bridge anymore anyway. Uh, and I might go with the tunnel method like that I've used before. Because <clears throat> I think it'll be easier just to build it as embankments, like so. And you'll go like that, and then this one like that, and this one like that. Now, it might be trickier to actually get the line through as a tunnel, but I do think overall it would be the better option. Um, and it will also then allow me to rebuild this little section here as well. Just to work better. To be to be uh, completely honest. Just to work better. So, <clears throat> first of all, you're going to branch off like this. And yes, slope down. And then round, 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 round to about here-ish, I guess. Now, can I just connect straight from here under like that? No. Can I connect like this and make it slope down? There we go. Now, will that work? No. I can do this, though. Now, is this all one piece? No, it's not. Perfect. <clears throat> so could I do this? I can't connect it. Too much slope, it says. Yeah, it actually physically won't let me build it. Which is interesting. Um, what if... I got rid of that bit too and went directly from here down. That works. Okay, cool. 
So this crossover might have to be built the other side of the bridge. Which, again, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, either that or I find a way to go over for that one. That might be overkill as well. That's the... Th yeah. No, I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know. I'm actually kind of torn on that one. As to whether or not it's worth it. Um, that is a very, very sharp curve and slope here though. So I might redo this. So we got that bit in now. So if I just went from here to there. Yeah, that's a lot gentler. I like that a lot more. <clears throat> and then um, we can build from here. Excuse me. Yeah, my voice just went then. Uh, from here over to here. And then also from here out. And I'm going to go up. Kind of like this. And then keep coming round. And maybe here? Can I get a bridge across? I feel like I'm actually close to getting a bridge in there, but I just don't know if it's actually gonna work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna not do that. Not ne <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I broke there. Sorry about that. Um, <coughs> yeah, we're all struggling. We're all struggling right now. Um, let me get the game up. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. Um, the last thing I needed to do was build a crossover from here down. And I'm not... I don't think it's going to let me do that because these aren't... It's not a crossover as such, is it? Uh, so, yeah, somewhere... I don't want to do it on the bridge. It's going to have to be after the bridge. Uh, maybe, like, here. I can add that in. We do have signals. Yeah, across the bridge. I'm going to put another pair in. Or at least one on the fast... No, actually, no, I will put another pair in. One there, and then the fast line one can be a little bit further up. And then we've got the release signals there. I'm going to call them that because I don't really like them, but it keeps things moving. So I suppose they're a necessary evil. Right, where was I? I was building these lines. And then I was going to go back and put that road back in before the, uh, the local authority gets me in a headlock. So I think this is the first actual main line that I'm building from scratch as a four track main line which is kind of exciting shows progress is being made on the network does that go under okay yes it does good stuff are you going to moan and whinge at me again or are you going to behave now oh train three where are you where are you trying to go Harrow well, turn around and go to Harrow then <laughs> where, 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 are you okay now? Oh, do you go through... Ah, you go through there, that's why. Fair enough. Okay, you had every reason to complain. So I'm going to put these signals back in place as well. So it was one there. I think we'll put one in the middle of the tunnel. Oh, there's autosave. And again, there might be a better way to build these lines. I want to know if there's a better way to build these lines, that's for sure. These tunnels, I mean, they do function. I'm not too upset about that. But it would be nicer to have um, something that I'll be a little more pleased to look at. Let's put it that way. Yeah, let's put it that way. Okay. Tracks. Bullhead. So I think if we start from the left-hand side... Uh, we're basically following the land this way now. And we're going to climb up here. I might keep that as a bridge, you know. I know that uh, Gerda Bridges should be on the way in the not-too-distant future. 
For now, though, we are kind of stuck with these viaducts, which look great, but function terribly. Uh, the speed limit is so slow. Okay, there's the level crossing. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the road. Uh, it's, it has messed up the road a lot. Uh, and I think this is all a continuous gradient as well, which is um, a nice challenge. So yeah, somewhere here, I think it might actually be this side of the road. Let's go buildings, passenger station. We'll make it 240. One track is fine. Now, which way is... Where's Blackburn? This way. So I'm going to build it. Kind of like this. Kind of like that. Uh, and then this road here should join up with this road here. <clears throat> and then we'll configure it with some tracks. We have got 125 mile an hour tracks now as well. That might be worth factoring in at some point. I don't think we've actually got any trains that can go that speed right now, though. So there's no point worrying about it too much. Platforms. Passenger platform. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then... Um, misc. One, shelter, 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 shelter. And then an underpass... We'll just put the one. Actually, we'll have one down this end as well. We'll go with two. Why not? So we'll call that Wimborne Minster for now, but I think in future we might rename it. Uh, and we want the tracks to come in pretty much like that. That's actually kind of gone quite well. <clears throat> I'm quite happy with that. Right. This track then, I should be able to pretty much drag it straight in hopefully nope not quite I think it's the various curves yeah it doesn't like that that's not so neat so it kind of it sticks to it so long as it doesn't like curve away and then back in once it does that it, it doesn't stick so if I draw it out to here that will obviously stick. And then... <clears throat> bring it to over here. That obviously sticks. And then from here, it might be able to go straight up. And in like so. Nice, nice, nice. Um, now, I did say this would become a junction station. And it could still, but... Maybe I just build a second station in future near the site of where this line's coming in from. And hope the two stations join up that way. Because we can do that too, of course. Uh, right, click and drag you up to here. I think we're going to terminate this line in Blackburn for now. Because actually the purpose of this line right now isn't just for passenger usage. It's mainly for, for goods traffic. Um trying to come up with some more destinations for um for for freight it seems to be my focus in in this and open ttd right now is freight operations plus we've got it's not around this area but we've got an oil line somewhere that i would like to link up at some point because uh, there's a few towns down in the east that actually want fuel so that'd be uh handy to have right blackburn let's get a station built over here and then we can decide how we're actually arriving in town. Also, again, excuse me, just one second. Oh, God. Right. Sorry about that. Again. Um, I am going to build the station as it will be. Can you... Is there a way to raise and lower? I suppose you just raise and lower the land, don't you? And that's how you do it. I kind of want to build the station up elevated, but on land still, if that makes sense. So don't build it as an elevated station. Just build it on an embank embankment above the town. This should be high enough. Hopefully that's high enough. Let's find out. 
Oh yeah, easy peasy. Okay, there we go. So this is Blackburn Station. We will smooth the land out in future. Don't you worry about that. Um, and I am going to build it like this for now, but we're only going to... Well, we're going to build it in such a way that trains can terminate here. That might even be the case... Uh, always, actually. Might just build a flyover. So that trains can always terminate here. Um, and head back down south again. Blackburn's actually quite a small town right now, so I'm not in any rush to, to build a huge station here. Um, which is kind of why I've just gone with a simple two-tracker again. Or oh, two-platformer, sorry, not two-tracker. Right. Underpass. Underpass. So yeah, things like there, steel mill, useful. Um, there's actually oil here, which is useful. So we're coming from here. If we skirt past the, uh, the, so what's this? This is oil, isn't it? And then this is, what does this make? Oil. So it's, it's crude oil into oil. That's what it does. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Again, we'll build out from the left. <clears throat> So I want it to skirt past here, like this, and then we'll swing around the hill here. Uh, I don't really want a tunnel or a bridge, for that matter. Something like this would be nice. And then I'm going to keep swinging around this way. I don't want any bridges here. I kind of just want it to be embankment. Okay, and then we'll swing around. Now this could be a tunnel, I suppose, because it's quite hilly here. And then at some point around here, we'll need to start rising up. This, however, is going to be a bridge straight across and also flat. <clears throat> and that should keep the shipping lanes relatively open. Uh, did I build the right one here? Yes, I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, I am I am sorry about my voice and everything. It's I know it's not nice. Uh, that is a very, very unusual looking layout there. But it could work. If I just take this road for a second. I will rebuild the road so that it curves more naturally under the railway there. That's quite a long tunnel I just found myself building there as well. That's uh, wasn't part of the script, but never mind. So yeah, we've got here, silver is that? And steel into uh, is it machines? In fact, is that silver? I think that's silver. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of a single machine that uses silver. <laughs> and isn't like ridiculously fancy gold you get a lot so like computers have gold on their circuit boards and things like that for conductivity I just don't know about silver does silver have high conductivity could it be used in computers maybe I don't know someone I'm sure will tell me in the comments because someone always tells me in the comments that's like my slogan for this channel right now someone always corrects me doesn't matter what I say it's always wrong and there's probably someone out there right now thinking, that's not true. In which case, you've just proved me right. Thank you. <clears throat> right, yes. Follow the uh, the railway here. This is very much a trunk route now at this point. Very, very much a trunk route. Uh, game? Oh, also save. Huh. I do like the fact it does still kind of let you continue during an auto save. It's just the next time you hit a button, you've got to wait for autosave to finish, and then it commits. There we are. That's fair enough. I don't mind that. Um, also, I had a, a suggestion from George last episode about naming trains. So, naming individual vehicles, I don't think I'll do that. <clears throat> but I do like the idea of naming certain lines. So, not just having, or at least services... So not just having, you know, Route 1, Route 2, Route 3, but actually giving them some names and character and things like that. 
So I think Gravesend Flyer was the example that was was given. I don't think I'll use that one. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad suggestion or anything, but um, I don't think I'll use that one. But something along those lines, for sure. I'll definitely look into. Can I really not build? Wow. It might not actually let me build any crossovers here. Oh, there you go. There's one. And then... Can I get... Yeah, I could do this one. There we go. I won't add a double slip here purely because I don't want one. Actually, I've kind of done this the wrong way around, thinking about it. What I should have done was built it this way. Kind of like that. And then we'll have a little gap here for the road to go through. And then we'll do one... What's the speed limit here? 20 knots? Oh, that's not very... Hmm. No, I think I've... Um... I think we have to cross fast line first. Because actually then train's leaving. Uh, hello? Really? Too much curvature? Too much curvature? Is it because... Have I messed this up now? What's going on here? Oh, maybe it's because they're not the same length. That could be a factor. Um, I've forgotten what I was saying now. Oh yeah, trains leaving the platform here might want to join the fast line anyway, so it makes sense to have that be set up and ready to go accordingly. Right. Uh, yeah, so now I can build this. Oh, please let me build it. Alright, here. We'll build it across. And then I guess this side of the water here. Build the double slip. Oh, I think it's going to have to be here. Well, I don't actually know. Tell you what, we're going to do this differently. Yeah, we're definitely going to do this differently. <coughs> Excuse me one sec again. Ah, and again, apologies for that. Right. So yeah, this one's going to come straight in. This one's going to come straight in. This one's going to come straight in. And this one's going to come straight in. And then what we're going to do is this one here is going to somewhere go across. It's probably going to be this side of the potential road crossing. Like that. And then this side of the road crossing, I think I'm just going to have it pop out like this. Again, I kind of wanted it to do that before. Can I rebuild this? Alright, first of all, let's get this level with this. And then these ones, I want to be embankment, not... There we go. There we go. And then I want a track to come out like this. And this is going to be the arrival track. Um, that this side of the river. So let's have it follow it along like this. And then somewhere around this area, it's going to curve out. But it's not going to curve down. It's going to go up. Like this. And then here it's going to go around like this. Except it's not going to do that, obviously. It's probably going to level out here. Bear in mind this track underneath it is curving downwards. So I should be able to get over like so. There we are. And then this should be able to come down and around like this. 
There we are. Although I think I'll drag it a little further out. Mostly for speed limit purposes. There we are. And then you are just going to connect in like so. Okay, we are connected then to Blackburn. We do still need to set up bus lines and stuff. And to be honest, I might actually make that what I do today. Um, I did say it was going to be a relatively, or if I didn't say it, it was meant to be a relatively short one today. And it's coming up to about what I would call a relatively short one. So yeah, about half an hour I've been going for now. So that's about right. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of land flattening around here so that this doesn't look too bad when the uh, the roads are built. This isn't cheap, but then the money is absolutely flying in right now, so I'm not under any pressure to actually make this line profitable from the get-go, which is actually a very nice position to be in for once. For once, I feel like I'm playing this game at my pace rather than, um, rather than the game's pace, which is a very, very nice problem to be in. There will be a road there in the future. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Also, this one. What better place to have this road run under than it here? Perfect. And then we'll connect that one up like that too. That. The old triple stack there. Look at that. This viaduct looks a little unrealistic. It would work better as a girder. In future, I will have this as a girder. Um, <clears throat> maybe keep the rest of this line here as a... a Viaduct. Obviously, upgrade the main ones to girders as well. So we'll uh, we'll add in some crossovers at this end of things now as well, and then um, we can start planning some trains and stuff. So we'll add some relatively long crossovers in here, I think, as long as I can get away with. Uh, I guess like this. Like that, and then this side, same thing. I can't imagine we're going to have too many, like, fast, fast train stopping here. Maybe some semi-fast that just happen to use the fast lines at this point. Could cross over. But otherwise, it's not a huge deal, is it? Let's be honest. Um, so, yeah, here. We could just bend it around like this. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's, um, let's go with this. We'll have... Two lots of stops. Make it 20 in length. And I kind of want to connect it like this. And I should be able to build you around like that. <clears throat> and then uh, grab you for a sec. So I'm going to expand this out as much as it will let me. Which I think is just this. We could always add extra platforms in the back here as well in future. Maybe I'll add one more here just to extend that out some more. But what I really want to do is have a second street access here. And this will probably be the one that's that's mainly used. It depends really. Uh, and then you are going to just connect straight down. Like so. I think we'll go with a similar method to what we've used with Gravesend, where it actually stops at a stop just outside town. And then from there, um, we'll have some lines take over. So we'll give it one like here. I don't know why I said we'll give it some for, because that's not a grammatically correct sentence for a start. One here. Uh, and then another one, <clears throat> probably where this road meets, actually. That looks kind of cool. Or maybe, yeah, no, no, over here. Somewhere like this. Like that. Uh, and then we'll, we'll set up some routes. So I think for this one, I mean, we only really need like two stops in town right now. Because that covers... What does this cover? It covers like all of this end of town. So if I just have another one over here, it covers this end of town. <clears throat> and then we'll do something very similar over here at Downham. So this covers most of this half of town. So again, we just need like one stop up here to cover this half of town. For this one, though, I might put 
Actually, maybe I don't need to. I could put some in the middle here, though, just for the sake of it. Uh, and I do need to connect Blackburn up as well. So I think here I will use... First of all, we'll build the... Um, Actually, no, I'm not going to do that here. Here I'm going to go with just a, a normal bus stop, I think. And have you run down like that. And then this side like this. So, yeah, you should now be connected. And then I can build you in, I guess, like that. Or maybe here. Actually, there's better because it's kind of flatter. Bulldoze that, and then I gotta stop saying and then as well. That's annoying. Uh, so we'll have another one over here, and that should be all of Blackburn served. Blackburn's a surprisingly small town. Very surprised by that. I'm also gonna have the road depot just outside town here, like so. Uh, and I could just get this one up and running, to be honest. Station to there. They're going to be Blackburn bus. Like so. And we might as well get the first vehicle out as well. Do we have anything? I mean, there's you. Oh, hang on. You're not passenger, I don't think. No, you're not. So we're just going to buy one of you. We'll paint you. What color is Blackburn bus? It's like the lime green color. And out you go. So that's one taken care of. Off you go then. And then... <clears throat> nearly choked again. Nearly choked again. Uh, you guys probably don't need to know that, mind. So, again, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll have this as trams. In which case, we could probably make this a bit more... Like this. In which case, that won't be bi-directional anymore, that one. And... Uh, uh, here, tram, yes, electric. Like that. So we will redo this slightly in that. I mean, okay, yeah, you could technically be bi directional. Um, as could this one. As could this one. Yeah, so that's that solved. Uh, and then we'll put a tram depot. If I can get one in here. Not quite. Maybe I'll just put one up here. And then electrify this road as well. There we are. The, uh, the other... The other side here. Wimborne Minster. That could probably just be a bus for now. And then we'll have a bus depot here that will kind of serve, or road vehicle depot that will just serve everything around here. Um, so this station here, I think we're just going to call this, um, probably just Wimborne Downham. Or Downham Wimborne, maybe. Like that. It's kind of like a hybrid. You know, like Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. That kind of thing. New line. Here to here. And you are DW to Downham. And then we'll have another new line, which is this one to here. And you are DW to to uh, Wimborne. Okay, and then another new line. For now, we're just going to have an anti-clockwise. Come on. There we go. And you are going to be um, down um um, minus. And then finally another new line. 
and you're going to be Wimborne Bus. Like that. Right. Going to add some vehicles to these lines now. So first of all, grab one of you. <clears throat> so you're going to go on DW to Downham, which I think was that colour. And then I believe it's the pink for um, the Wimborne one. And then we'll buy one more here. And you are the Wimborne bus. Which is green. Like so. And then we're going to get the tram. Which we have a lovely electric tram now, which I'm very happy about. Not so happy with the colour scheme, mind, but... Oh well, you got that kind of GWR brown-ishness to it. Which isn't the worst in the world, I suppose. Right, <clears throat> time to signal these lines now. Actually, before I do that, I want to save my game. Because auto signal can cause problems. And I know we've got auto save, but it's nice to have, you know, the extra security of doing a hard save as well. Alright, there we are. So. <clears throat> one there like that. One there like that. Yep. Yep. Happy with that. That's very nice signaling. Look at that. Beautiful. And then coming back. One there. One there. And again, that should do it. <clears throat> All the way back to pretty much the station approach, which is basically what it's done. Very, very nice. And then same thing on this side. Um... I might move these ones a little bit further to just before the level crossing. There we go. And that takes us up to here. Obviously, I'll fix these ones as well. There we go. Um, <clears throat> speaking of... Oh, that's perfect. There's one just before the, the, uh, the junction there, which is awesome. And then we'll do another one there, of course. And that takes us over like so. And then we'll do the return ones. <clears throat> which, just to get this started, I'm going to do there and there. I think actually, uh, that might be... I'll put one here as well. I think that might be about right, looking at it. That might be about right. Cool. <clears throat> so then I guess the absolute last thing will be to um, to get some trains running on here. Now, I was tempted to... And we can't run trains from here down to Gravesend because we haven't got the dive unders and stuff for that. But it would be nice to get some trains running... I guess we could do another stopper. Stopper-ish down to Luton. That could work. Luton, I believe, does have an extra platform. Maybe it doesn't. I know it doesn't. We could add another platform. A little bay platform, maybe. Uh, if I come down here like this. So we can't go there. It's going to be a little train. Um, and we could also use that as an excuse to rebuild this junction slightly. Let me just pause the game for one second. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's all terrible, I know. So yeah, you're going to come across like that. And then this is going to be a double slip, and that will fix that problem. There we are. Yeah, nice. Uh, I am going to remove this signal, I think. Because do we need that one? I suppose we kind of do. No, never mind. I am going to leave that one. 
It would be nice to have a um, a depot here, though, which I might be able to squeeze in. Maybe, oh, I don't know, actually. Hang on. Let me try and build a track through here first, and then we'll look at a depot. Kind of works if it lets me build a double slip here, which it does, and then this little bit here can just be made like that. There you go, and then just build that there. Bravo, that's actually gone surprisingly well. Okay, let's get this last <clears throat> this last line in before my voice completely goes. Uh, so yeah, here you're going to be platform, I guess, one. Is it just not working yet? Because, yeah, I think it's just not working yet because we've... Um... Let me just check that. Yeah, just because we hadn't added a second station was what I was going to say. Uh, and then we'll stop here at Gravesend as well. Now, see, we're not stopping over here so that's where that train comes in handy we are stopping at m4j junction and then we're heading up this way up the brand new line so we got Wimborne up to Blackburn back to Wimborne well down in Wimborne I should say back to m4j junction Gravesend Harbour and Hatfield Riverside there we are. Now, has it allocated the platforms correctly? I'm going to go straight out and say, yeah, not quite. Not quite. Very close, mind. Very close. So M4J Junction on the return here. We need to be on platform 5, not 6. This one, it's got spot on, which I'm happy about. Uh, it doesn't know to cross over here, though. So we are going to run on the slow lines here, I believe. So before, so after Downham and Wimborne. Yeah, we're going to go on the slow line here. And then this side of things, does it know? Uh, it actually does, so that's good. So yeah, you are going to be the... Um, I guess we'll just do Blackburn to Luton. Actually, well, technically we're doing Luton to Blackburn, aren't we? So Luton to Blackburn. Okay. And then we'll add a train in, and then we're done. <clears throat> this is a long old journey. But it should be an absolute money spinner. Who knows? One day I might put some... Uh, I mean, we could technically have freight running backwards and forwards between Luton and I mean Hereford technically because Blackburn I don't think we'll have a freight station at Blackburn I don't know though it's wrong to just rule it out also I kind of want these ones to be slightly more powerful than the other trains because I imagine this is going to be carrying a fair old whack so maybe not a 440 although that's quite cheap compared to these so I think I might go with the 440 actually uh, have we got like southern? We got this. There is a southern one. If that's the colour I think it is, that would be very nice. Uh, and then we'll have some carriages. So maybe some six wheels. What's your top speed? 60? Yours is 52. Actually, what's the top speed of this? 60. So yeah, we need to go with the 60 mile an hour ones. Um, let's go with, I guess it has to be this one. So we'll go with one of you. So it's this, what, the second one down? Do we want first class? I suppose we'll have one first class. Again, it's just, it's a, a realism thing. It doesn't actually affect the game at all. Two of them. So we've got 102 capacity here. And then we'll just have a break at the end. Like so. You notice the vehicle, the loco is running in reverse. I want that. That's good. So we'll grab you. We'll paint you. What color was it? 
It's like the pastely bluey. It's like that one, I think. Ooh. Not a huge fan of that, but we'll go with it for now. And off you go. Uh, unpause the game now, and off that train should go. So I'm going to follow this, because this is my thumbnail for the uh, the video, obviously. Um, I am going to also clone you twice. So this route here between Luton and um, M4J Junction, actually that's not a bad blue. It's not terrible. Um, yeah, this section of track is going to be incredibly busy. So I think next episode, or between episodes, I might quad track this as well uh, to a certain point. And then, um, yeah, next time we're going to start looking at freight and things like that, which would be nice. Uh, one more thing, actually, I've just noticed. I'm going to pin you for a second, and I'm going to pause you for a second. I actually want this uh, at Luton here to come in on, I'm going to say, is it three? I believe. And then this one, yeah. You are going to come in on one. It doesn't make much sense for the longer distance train to come in on the smaller platform. <coughs> Excuse me. At least not to me anyway. Anyway, that will do for this episode. I've actually gone way over what I said I was going to. So that's not good uh, for me at least. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I'm going to do a quick outro here as well because I really need to go have a drink and cough and all that good stuff. <coughs> in fact, speaking of which, just bear with me one second. Right, yes, quick outro. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and, of course, enjoying the series. Apologies again for my coughing and the constant having to mute the microphone. Hopefully, the microphone was muted for all of those. Uh, if not, again, I apologize. Um, don't forget to hit the, the like button. I've already said that. Drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes and leave some feedback on the episodes so far. It's always very much appreciated. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time... I will see you soon.